Hi everyone, it's me, Mike, uh, and I'd just like to say that I hope you enjoy this week's video. Um, if you have listened to anything good in the last month that you'd like me to check out, do let me know down below. And if you could subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, but for now, let's all crack open a fresh flask of nutrients and enjoy some content. Hi guys, I'm standing in front of a window and welcome to Mike's Music Month, or as I'm calling this edition, Oh God, Oh Fuck, Oh No, It's September and I've Done Nothing All Year. So today we're just going to do the usual thing of going through an album, an EP and a single. Um, and it's mostly going to be ambient music, so <laughs> buckle in for a laugh a minute thrill right, obviously. Um, the first one I want to talk about is this month's album and that is Nurse With Wounds, Soliloquy for Lilith. This is by far and away the oldest thing I've covered on this segment. I think it was released in 1988. Um, originally, it's been re-released a couple of times with like bonus tracks and stuff like that. But uh, I think that the original 1998 one is quite long enough. Um, and the other ones have tracks that are sort of noticeably different lengths, so we're just talking about the main one today. Incidentally, uh, I'm more prepared for this segment than usual because I've got notes, so well done me. We'll see if we can keep it a bit more concise this time. So Nurse With Wound are someone who you'll have heard of if you know anything about, you know, ambient, industrial, weird music from the UK. It's a project by Stephen Stapleton with sort of a whole load of other musicians coming and going. Uh, Soliloquy for Lilith is, I think, their most successful release. It's also one of the most unique in that it doesn't have any instruments on it. Yeah. So all the sound is essentially generated from just plugging in loads of effects pedals. It creates this sort of meditative, textural sort of listening experience which is primarily just feedback being affected by these different pedals. I think I also read that Stephen Stapleton was sort of moving his hands over them in, well, probably nothing like this, but maybe something like that in order to sort of create minor changes in the electrical signals they were all receiving, which uh, I think is pretty interesting. The current releases all stand well in excess of two hours, even if you look at the original, it's six tracks and they're all between 17 and 18 minutes long. So I understand if you don't want to sit down for the whole thing. It might actually be worth putting on maybe while you're trying to go to sleep or something like that, but if you do actually want to listen to one track, I would recommend number five. I don't really know why, it's the one that I've come back to the most, and I just kind of think it's the warmest sounding one on that, which, while things are getting colder, as you can see from my outfit, is always a good thing. I think I'm already noticing that this Kanye West themed notebook is helping me keep things more concise, so uh, he may well crop up again. <laughs> Speaking of being concise, onto this month's EP. Corliss is an artist who I've liked for a good number of years. I actually picked up a vinyl copy of this EP in uh, the London Rough Trade store just after it came out, and he's actually recently released an album. But unfortunately, I've been hamstrung by the confines of a format that I've created, so I'm going to talk about an eight-year-old EP. It's a pretty good coffee. I mean, it's not like... It's not going to blow you away. It's not going to be the best coffee you've ever had, but I'm not James Hoffman, you know. Not every cup of coffee needs to be a work of art. Sometimes I'm, you know, I'm recording this at quite early in the morning, um, so just fancy to pick me up, and here we are. Anyway, back to what's in the book. <laughs> I originally picked up this EP uh, having heard it was quite good on Pitchfork because even back in 2013 I was an unbearable hipster arsehole. Prior to that, Callers had put out a couple of releases that had drums on them. This pretty much completely abandons them. There are a few synth sounds that do have like percussive elements in them and even some vocal samples that he's chopped up which give a sort of percussive effect but nothing you could reliably call drums. The best track is the one that has the thing closest to drums on it, that being Sun with this sort of it's it kind of this like clicked sine wave so it sounds almost percussive but I still wouldn't call it drums. It's it's, it's really good. If you do want a version of Sun that's a bit darker, uh, there is the sensibly titled No Sun, 
on side B. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say Sun's the best track, but ultimately it's a 20 minute EP. I would really take the time out of your day to go and listen to it. With that one done, uh, I wanted to talk about a single. Uh, as you've noticed, there's a bit of an ambient theme here. But I'm not going to do one of those ones where it's like an hour long track and it's an album because that would just be a bit too cheeky. Instead, I'm going to do one that is a small excerpt of one of those hour long albums. Hey guys, this is Mike in an uncomfortably loud whisper, so I'm sorry if you're listening on headphones. Uh, basically, I'm a bad content creator and I realised that at no point did I say the name of the release I was talking about. It is Yugen by Corliss. So uh, that's what you need to search if you do want to listen to this. This excerpt is the excerpt of Reflection by Brian Eno that he put out around the time of the original. And I think I remember reading because the actual album is uh, what's called generative music, more on that in a second. But it actually, despite being an excerpt, a completely unheard piece produced as part of that album. Now when I say generative music, what I mean is basically this is something that Eno's been doing for a long time, where he just sets up a series of parameters and then effectively lets the music play itself. I've heard it likened to uh, almost like a river where you can look at the same spot in a river and it is the same thing, but it's never, it's never the same thing. I'm sure he's written it down in a much more eloquent way than that, but there we are. In any case, this is a sort of much more pared down version of the 65 minute long album. Uh, in fact, it's four minutes, 20 seconds. This one has really sort of lovely textures going on with it. Again, it's one of those pieces of ambient music where it's very much background music, but if you do listen to it and dig into it a little more, there is always gonna be something worth finding in that. Uh, and with that, I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you've listened to any of those. And uh, yeah. Delicious, delicious nutrients. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.